Tell us a bit about the cost of living. Right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about cost of living, right? Mate, I'm appalled by it. It is very expensive. It is very expensive. It's definitely been more expensive. Cost of living is f Excuse my French. Presented by Your Energy Answers. If you've been to Sydney at all, you know that everything is just so bloody expensive. Australia is actually ranked as the second most unaffordable city in the whole world. Let's see what people have to say about it. What do you think is the most expensive part about living in Sydney at the moment? The most expensive part? Everything. Everything. Have you thought much about your like electricity bills and stuff, or do you just not give a uh, shit about that? I because don't pay you got... bills like that. I don't pay bills like that. Everything goes up, mate. Look and at I'm the telling you. Of the cigarette. Bar. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's that's ridiculous. It's crazy. And then and then you got and then you got drugs. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. How do you feel about the unaffordability? I've got my poor mum and sister here. They are, they're struggling to make ends meet. You know, they're both in poverty, Houso, both of them. So I'm from Munich, which is also not a cheap city, but it's certainly not been very cheap at all. I think it's not. How come? If you work really hard, it will be easy for you to afford stuff. However, if you're not trying as hard, that's probably why you're not living the way you thought you would live. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's similar or more expensive than where I've been in England. It's probably hard for people who are local to afford it. Do you find it as unaffordable as they say? Not personally, but I can imagine if you're struggling, electricity and power and that kind of stuff would be high on the priority of needing to afford and you wouldn't be able to do fun things in life. I would say that uh, it, it is very expensive to live here in Sydney, mostly for a student, a master student that don't have a job yet. Renting, supermarket, events, clubs, nightlife, it is a little bit expensive considering my situation. Yeah. Hmm, just like I thought, it seems like most people are struggling with just how expensive Sydney's gotten. But with the rising energy prices, I kind of also wonder just how expensive people's electricity bills have gotten. Do you notice your parents talk much about like the cost of electricity and things like that? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think in the past like year and a half, it's increased dramatically. Do you think the government could be doing more to kind of alleviate the pressure of electricity bills and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I definitely think for middle to low income families, there could definitely be more support because they are the ones that do struggle the most. Last year, I hardly pay anything for electricity. And then this year is even I have a solar uh, panel still very high. A funny story, our bill went from two digits to three digits because of um, the lighting and the amount of plugs that we use and we keep on at night. Electricity bills are, yeah, they're just skyrocket. Are your electricity bills high? Of course, yes, exactly more than double. More than double? Yes. Wow, wow. The electricity is included in my bill, but I would say yes, because my pay for renting very, is very costly. Comparing to Brazil, I mean, it would be like one of the most costly opportunities that I, that I ever have. But even though Sao Paulo is a big city with good infrastructure, it's not as expensive as here, I would say. In Germany, you guys are big on like geothermal. So do you feel like that alleviates the cost of electricity? Uh, certainly, like I know that personally in my house, we use ge geothermal heat, which has definitely helped with the cost of things. Unfortunately, it's not quite as sunny as Australia, so we're not able to use as much solar, but um, it's worked really well. And it's, it's definitely cut down on the price of things. Damn, so bills are clearly rising for some. And one way to reduce them just like the Germans said, is to get solar. But lucky for Australians, it's pretty accessible too. But I guess it kind of makes you think, if solar's so good, why don't more people have it? Do you guys have solar panels by any chance? Uh, no, we can't afford them because the government doesn't give us a rebate on it. Do you think solar could benefit you if there were more rebates available and the government was doing more to be able to put solar on your house? Oh, absolutely, mate. And it's my dream to own a Tesla too, but they don't make that any uh, cheap. To, uh, yeah. We do not have solar panels. The majority of the people in our street do. I know in the long term, like, yes, it's more beneficial, but it's just expensive at the moment to get them put on our roof. Do you think it would be great if the government was doing more to try to get you solar panels, like with rebates and incentives and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely. I think it will help my family a lot more. And I know that there are plenty of other families out there who would really help support them. So I think they should. Have you ever thought about getting solar panels to maybe alleviate? Yes, I'm thinking, uh, but uh, maybe it's the future. Sometimes they say it's for free, but uh, when you want to start, yes, they say, okay, this price you have to pay. Nothing free. Nothing's free, nothing's yeah. free. Do you think that the government could be doing more to maybe put solar on people's houses? I think so, and I think at a community scale is more important. So big batteries for small communities and then they can feed back into the grid is much more important than thinking about the really big picture stuff. Start thinking about community size answers. Obviously renting it's hard because you don't have you know your own autonomy over your building but do you think it would be helpful if kind of your rental property had solar panels or something like that in order to alleviate the pressure of electricity bills? I would say for sure obviously is another complex uh, discussion because this is this investment must come from someone and, and somehow I will benefit from it but yeah I would say that this is, would be a, a very good idea. 
when you had solar panels, have you kind of changed like the time you use your electricity? So yes, you use yes. it like more during the day? Because yes, you yes. When the sun goes up, I start using everything, yeah, yeah. all my uh, washing and dishwasher. And so do you use like less electricity at night now? Like you Yeah, that's use right. Less? Yeah, only oh. TV and just the lights. Smart. Every year. That's why like I was really managing my electricity bill, but yeah. I don't know what's changed lately. Yeah, yeah. I noticed it's getting a little bit higher now. About can, I just, um, can I just shout out to... Um, shout out to all the boys. No, the yeah, era, no. Carly Goldthorpe, she's sick and I love her very much. Real, real. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Cost of living is just, it's killing people. It really is killing people. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's clear Sydney and pretty much Australia as a whole is quite pricey. Housing is unaffordable and the cost of everyday items just seems to be going up and up in prices. But it's pretty clear that electricity bills are the major factor contributing to the rising cost of living. And while solar energy is praised for slashing power costs, it's solution only accessible to homeowners with the funds to do so. The truth is renters and apartment dwellers are left out. Yet did you know that they're the ones paying for the solar rebates? Because these rebates are funded by higher electricity prices. Soon in New South Wales, solar batteries are gonna be the same. Rebates for homeowners, but paid by everyone else through higher electricity costs. Now my question for you is, is this an unfair rebate system? paid for by those already struggling to keep up. Let us know what you think. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.